Hello students, today we are going to start with online classes of 4th semester become computer application. Before we start, let us have a look at the syllabus of 4th semester. So total there are 5 modules. Module 1 is basics of programming skills. Students, in the previous semester, you have learned various application softwares such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint and MS Access. In this semester, for the first time, you are learning programming. So, before we start with the programming, in module 1, let us learn some of the basic skills required for programming. These skills are important for beginners to design programs easily. Module 2 is C programming and introduction to OOPS that is object oriented programming. In this module you will learn how to design, debug and execute C programs. In this we will also learn some of the basic concepts of object oriented programming. Module 3 is Internet. Module 4 Internet Banking and Module 5 is Web Based Marketing. So these three are the theoretical modules. Module 2 is very important as the case study for this semester comes from Module 2. So today let us start with the first module basics of programming skills. So some of the key points which we are going to discuss in this module are basics of problem solving, programming logic, algorithm and flowchart. First let us start with the basics of problem solving. Here we will discuss what is a problem and what do you mean by problem solving. So problem is defined as it is a perceived gap between the existing state and a desired state. In simple word problem is nothing but it is any of the task which you want to perform. We perform any task to get something or to achieve something right so the desired state is nothing but what is required after performing a task and to perform that task initially we require some inputs so existing state is nothing but the inputs what we have and a desired state is nothing but what we require after the task is performed let us understand this with some examples. So these are some of the examples or the problems which we want to solve. First one is calculating average marks of a student. So in this problem the desi desired state is nothing but the average of student and this average can be achieved by using marks scored by the student that is to achieve average or to get average we require marks of the student similar to that we have another problem that is calculating simple interest so in this the desired state that is the output what we require is the simple interest and to calculate the simple interest we require P, T and R. So similar to these we have other problems such as generating invoice for payment, computing tax payable, checking whether a person is eligible for vote or not. After understanding the problem, let us move to problem solving. 
So problem solving is the process in which the best solution is determined for a problem subject to a specific set of conditions. For a problem there can be many solutions or many alternatives and every solution may have a set of tasks to be performed. So in this process of problem solving user decides which is the best solution which is the best alternative to solve the problem and we need to also consider a set of conditions while determining a solution for example when you are traveling from a particular source to a destination there can be different ways to reach at the destination so you decide which is the best way to reach at the destination for this you may consider various criteria, such as sometimes you may select the way which may take the less time or you may select a particular way which requires less cost so based on the various conditions the solution is determined let us take one more example of generating invoice so there can be different methods in which invoice can be generated or amount can be calculated you may use some uh, short tricks for calculations when you are calculating amount you need to also consider some criteria for example if the discount is allowed then discount uh, can be based on the amount or it can be based on uh, the products which are purchased so all these things must be considered while developing a solution in next class we will discuss what are the different steps performed while solving a problem using computer.